Isaiah Khaleesi and South Africa are Rugby World Cup kings in Japan! Well, welcome to a rather spectacular Newlands for this opening match of Rugby World Cup 95. As we wait, South Africa first blood with the winning of the toss and Francois Pinot will has chosen for his team to play into a rather stiff southeasterly wind. Can South Africa spread it quickly enough? James Small, Peter Hendricks, Peter Hendricks, Peter Hendricks, that's a try! What a great try from Peter Hendricks. And France hold the onslaught just for a moment. Quibus Visa. Bodies piling over. How can the referee see? The referee has given the try. Underneath a melee of bodies is a try scorer for South Africa. Kings Park stands. And the last man up is Ruben Kruger. This to put South Africa into a seven point lead. Joel Stransky. He's kicked it. He's done it. Stransky with his fourth successful penalty. Kings Park comes alive. Morning Duplessis applauds. No mistake there, Ryder. Coming up to 11 minutes gone, and Joel Stransky levels the scores. The president applauds. 3 all. South Africa have it still, back it comes to Stransky, the drop goal, it's there, and South Africa into the lead for the first time, 31 minutes gone, and getting the reward for that pressure. And the referee spotted it, over the top he said, you went New Zealand, the cheers ring around, as yet again, a golden opportunity here for Stransky to level up the scores. That more than going over the top, although that's what he gave it for. There was a little hand in there that flicked it back, but it was the right decision. And it's over. Stransky, the coolest man on the park. He must have got permission, of course. Has to be an injury replacement. Back it comes to Stransky. Up goes the kick. They've just got to get the ball from this scrum and keep possession. And that's the way they'll do it, keeping it in the middle of the back and going for the line. Back it comes to use van de Vestesen, a little knock forward, but that's it! South Africa have won the World Cup, having been back in international rugby for less than three years and having not taken part in the first two competitions at their first attempt they have stolen the crown the president to the captain there it is Francois Pinar and Nelson Mandela is cheering along with the whole of the stadium. The final nail in the coffin. Coming up now to eight minutes gone. Extra time here in this World Cup semi-final. It's long enough. Wonderful kick from Burke.
Dupree, then to Butch James, then uh, Brian Habana chases it. Habana interfered with off the ball, but Brian Habana is going to score his seventh try of the tournament. And I thought the referee might have penalised that had he not scored because one of the Argentine players definitely got his shirt. But that is an indication of the blistering speed of the left winger for South Africa. Replacing uh, Daniel Rousseau. Oh, I don't believe it. Brian Habana is going to become the Rugby World Cup's top try scorer. We were saying just a moment ago that Argentina had thrown caution to the wind. But they were punished in the most severe sense there. Brian Habana scores his eighth try. And the atmosphere here in the stadium is truly sensational. This, in every way, is a massive occasion. Sure. Superb play by Matthew Tate. Gubbersall out wide. Try in the corner. That is Cueto for England. My goodness. What a start by the world champions to this second half. Well, I think he might be in touch. <laughs> what? <laughs> it may not tell us. It's, well, this, this could be the telling one. Watch his left foot there and the time that he puts the ball down. Oh! The ball was in touch. No try. Oh, my goodness. Well, everybody will be debating that decision, not just for days to come, but for months to come. As Johnny Wilkinson gets his first attempt at putting England on the scoreboard. Wilkinson. Perfect. That was a brilliant kick by Johnny Wilkinson. Montgomery for South Africa makes no mistake. Wilkinson. Oh, just scrapes off the post. But at least it is some points. And this one, again, has tremendous length. But the question has to be asked. Has Young Stain got the accuracy for the three points that South Africa want? It's high and it's long and it's straight. That is a big score for South Africa. They lead 15 points to six. On the brink of history. They're about to become world champions. And just as England did four years ago, right on the stroke of full time, they kick it into touch. And John Smith and his team are the winners here in the Stade de France. South Africa are the champions. It doesn't really matter about the score. They've created their own bit of history and the whole of South Africa will be delighted. The Weberless Trophy goes to South Africa for the second time. Stain wasn't sure whether he was offside there, but turnover, counter-attacks on. Little overlap here. Brian Havana! This is in South Africa's record! This one's for Joost van der Westhuizen. 39 test tries, surpassing Joost, who's watching back in South Africa. And they hand it off to Skalkberger. Just to make a few metres, Australia will look to counter ruck here. Oh, it squirts out on the Australian side. McCabe hit hard by Lambie. Oh, well, it scores! Well, they've got it in. Can they get it out? McCalman, they've got it. And the Ducks and the Wallabies win! South Africa get the shove on the penalty might come here. It's just being held Stay at the down. back there. Wales have to be stout. Vermeulen picks up and goes. Slips it away to Fully Dupree. And Dupree for the try. And South Africa's captain may have put them into the quarterfinal semi finals of the World Cup. Fully Dupree. A classic scrum half try. But Carter has it. On it goes to Nanu. Martin Nanu trying to set it up. Can the Springbok 
Hearts pull up something extraordinary on attack. Mialamu goes over the ball. Referee says it's OK. The Springboks, the heart still beats. Matfield loses it. It's all over. A game right out of the history books between the All Blacks and the Springboks. But it's New Zealand who go through to the final. Talad, they've overloaded that short side. Creel and setting the ball up for his birds event. Just looking to see whether that pass went forward there from Brian Abana. Let's have a listen to the officials. He does well there. That's a try. It's a bet. Brilliant play from South Africa. Well, Shoots in the point of attack. Yeah, over no, back and yeah back Johnny, you can the try. Thank you. Go. Tries the good one from Ivan Etzebet. So the bronze medal presentations going to take place and led by the Springbok captain tonight, Victor Matfield. 127 caps now. There's the bronze medal that they will save on value. The All Blacks pouring forward. Ryan Crotty, out it comes. Bowden Barrett. Barrett with support from George Bridge. Try for the All Blacks. To Japan concede. They're getting closer and closer, Marks. Still going now, Marks. Didn't clear. It is absolute precision. It's surgical. And it's another five for South Africa. Snyman. No intention to pass. Takes it on strongly. So too. Peter oh, Steph to Troy. The clerk. Marks. Let's go the back for Pollard. Pollard dancing around the defence. Beats a couple. Pollard nearing the sticks. And now the penalty advantage as well for South Africa. The clerk somehow weaves it through the line. Still with South Africa. Dale Linde. Dale Linde. Dale Linde. He is deadly. We've got our first try of the night. What about the looping pass through traffic and then the finish? It's going to top. South Africa punch their ticket. They are off to the biggest game in rugby. They are World Cup finalists. Next week, it'll be the Springboks v England. Too good for Wales here. Full time. South Africa, 19, Wales, 16. Across the park they come, and losing it. Arms there, pops up in a toy. Here comes Chesley Colby. Colby bounces towards the fence. Beats one, still going. Chesley Colby, Chesley Colby. South Africa, the World Cup is theirs! Yanchis, 10 seconds out now. They're about to create no. history as the only team ever at a World Cup to lose a pool game and go on and lift the biggest prize of them all! This is what they've all been working towards across the last four years. Sia Khaleesi and South Africa, a Rugby World Cup 